What's going on everybody? Jay Hayes here. Today I'm going to be doing a review on two devices that I was sent for the purposes of the review. I'm actually going to be doing three, but there's only going to be two included in this one. Then I'll follow up with another one. So this company is predominantly known for making squonk bottles. I've been through this a hundred times in regards to companies actually trying to make devices when they're already in the market of making something else. For instance, uh, Ferrari is known for making good cars right now. Obviously that's objective. Some people may hate their cars, but I'd say a general consensus is going to say that they make good cars. So Ferrari doesn't go out and make scissors. I don't think they're going to have quite the same market as what the Ferrari market is. You could take uh, Mattel who makes toys. They don't fuck around and make cars or you have Dunder Mifflin, right? They don't compete with Staples. Or do they? So a lot of people know this company. The One. Literally like The One. Like Ghetto, The One, but The One. Uh, maybe it's they own. Maybe that's the French person's name that created this. I don't want to ruin it, but when you look at these devices inside of the box, you can't tell me that does not look good. They look so nice inside of the box. It's not until you open it up and you do a little bit of further inspection and realizing that they don't look as nice as what they do on the outside of the box. I almost feel like they should have taken the money that they used to make the display that good and make their devices that much better. But this goes hand in hand in saying with the whole don't make a device if you haven't made devices before. Instead of using a DNA 75C, which is the current market they're using an old chip. Now this is a new device. This isn't something that came out two years ago. This literally just launched the DNA version. I really, really have a lot of high hopes for this whole company until I opened up the box. I'm not being dramatic. Like I've seen some of the shittiest machining, some of the worst design. Let's just bring it down and let me show you everything that I'm talking about because me talking about it without showing you means absolutely nothing so without further ado let's flip it these squonk mod renditions from the company named the one now there's not a lot of information online about this so a lot of this really is going to be free balling it and winging it we're going to first start off with the dna 75 so let's just take a look at that on the front splash evolved dna 75 watt bf mod don't confuse dna 75 for dna 75c very very different chips dna 75 has a six volt cutoff while the dna 75c has a nine volt cut off very very different chips each side of this it says the name of the company and the website on the flip side of this you got some information in regards to how to fill this up which is apparently upside down you guys remember when i used to do that i would bring it on top and everything would be upside down it was kind of a skit for a while now you're going to notice there's no scratch and sniff so yeah that's going to let a lot of people down on the back side of that everything that's included inside the box right here here is the website and the facebook now when you look this company up for like things for sale it's very very difficult to find a lot of sites that are selling it and when you go to their website to pick this up it's the same thing all it's going to do is just give you a link to email them to buy it there is no add to cart i'm starting to think the reason why they went with the dna 75 versus the 75c is just because no one's really using this chip anymore and they got it at a discounted rate you're not going to get any kind of manual anything on the inside you will however get a usb to charge this and upgrade the firmware i'm not quite sure if the way that you get this is the same way that i get it and this is retail packaging but it's very very desolate on the inside of this the side plates on both of these while only one is removable and that's the squonk section here is very very cheap feeling basically a piece of plastic you guys remember magnets like this so we've, we've seen magnets like this on the vt inbox not very strong they just don't work well i wouldn't be too concerned about the scratches that are on the side plates of this mod just because it does have a plastic coating that you can remove to make this shiny your face plate on the side oh god dna 75 but again we have a chrome plating and let me show you how this is going to look once we take that off once you remove this it's going to give you a very mirror polished and that's going to be very fingerprint heavy 
That's what it looks like with absolutely zero use. Now, once you put your fingers on it, there you go. That's hitting it once, and same thing up here. Very, very heavy on the fingerprints. Your fire button on the top is semi-clicky. However, it does get stuck a lot. I don't know if that's because it's a brand new button or the materials that they're using. It almost makes me wonder if the board that's inside this is truly an authentic DNA 75. I wanna make sure this is a real DNA 75 inside of here. Ew. Like, what is that? Look at the 510 connection. Looks very, very cheap. Almost like an aluminum. <laughs> 24 millimeter gives you no overhang on the side, but however, on the top, because it's beveled and you have these facets on the side, it gives you a little bit of an overhang. Funny thing is, there's more of an overhang on the right side of this than there is the left, and you could tell by looking at it that it is not centered whatsoever. It's more to the right than it is to the left, so looking down, there you go, you have overhang. When one side has overhang and the other does not. <sighs> this is not a, it's not a very nice mod at all. What this company is known for are their bottles. And this bottle, let me tell you this, is super, super squishy. This is not a 2700 and there's no ribbon or any way to remove a battery out of this. I don't necessarily have a problem with that. All I like to do is when you're in that type of scenario is just grab it and pop it out however this is spring loaded up here and it's very very stiff quality of this is just absolutely fucking horrible crazy part is the board probably cost two times as much as how much it cost them to make this mod now we'll put that back on we are good to go the squonk bottle on this is very very gougie it's it's almost like holding a fruit roll up in your hand you see that this is the kind of bottle that a lot of people don't like because what happens is it doesn't create enough of back pressure to do a suck back just given how soft it is. Some people like them, some people do not. We're gonna check what kind of bottles fit inside of this. First off, we have a Lost Vape, the extra, extra large ones, and they do fit. You may have a little bit of an issue getting that in. You're gonna have to make sure the tube is very, very short. Because that Lost Vape one works, a lot of other bottles will work no problem. Your Gremlin, a Squappy, the Lost Vape Pulse Bottle, BFX, Infinity, Cappy. Then we have the Pulse Mech Bottle. That is not going to fit. I mean, you could get it if you squeezed it really now. It won't get past the battery. The Pulse Fat Bottle will not work. Always make sure, guys, when you get a bottle from anything, you clean it out. You don't know the chemicals or the residual stuff that is left on the inside of the bottle, and that's the last thing you want to do is squonk that inside of your dripper to vape it. Put that on. And then there you go, just like that. Now what we're gonna be looking at is the second Squonk Box mod that they make, which is a mechanical. Everything on the box is exactly the same. And then there's the mod. That is all you get inside this box. I don't know why you would get anything else, but there's placeholders right here that something would go in. Styrofoam ice cubes. Whoop, hey gives the appearance that the whole box is going to be resin, which is the case on the inside of it. However, on the outside, they have this really ugly metal wrap. I'm not quite understanding why they went with this metal band that wraps around it. Maybe to give it a little bit pizzazz, but then you have this gold button right here that really doesn't serve much of a purpose aside from turning it to lock it and then turning it to the left to unlock it and fire it. This feels like one of the cheapest mods I've ever felt. It feels like it's made out of straight plastic, like ABS. I don't know what this metal is. It's probably aluminum. The way that this 510 connection is on the top is it is raised, so what's gotta happen is you have to be very, very precise for what you put on the top of this. So 22 is what they expect you to use on this. The way that this fires, it moves the squonk bottle down here. Watch. I'm not even gonna use this. Nope. Because the resin is throughout the hole inside, what is the purpose of the metal band that goes around it? It doesn't serve as a connection. I guess it's just mere for aesthetics alone. There are no magnets or any kind of clips on this. The magnets are gonna be on the back of the door to connect directly to the battery and then magnetize at that point. And the magnets that are on there are very, very small and very insignificant. So even when you have a battery in here, it just doesn't matter. Look at, look at the quality of this. Let's bring this in a little bit. Take a look at this.
dude, like, what were they thinking when they were making this? Like, what was going on in their mind? Look at this connection up here for the 510 and the squonk. Look at this. Oddly enough, the resin on the inside of this looks that much better than the resin does on the outside of this and the rest of the mod. Dude, that connection is fucking horrible. And of course, it moves around like a dirty hooker. 100%, there's no way I'm going to use this just based off of the way that this looks. The internals, nope. So that is the Mechanical Squonk by the same company. The Splash Mech Mod by De One. It almost appears that it's going to be very high-endish the way that it looks until you open it up. What is that supposed to be? That doesn't match anything in here. Inside the peripheral patch, you're going to get some extra silicone O-rings, which I'm not a big fan of. I don't know why a lot of companies are going over to this away from rubber O-rings. Cotton some extra coils, and then a squonk pin and a Barbie screwdriver. The squonk pin is good, just in case if later on down the road you buy this device and you don't like this mech mod anymore, you're able to use this dripper on your favorite squonker. Can you tell by looking at the bottom of the dripper, this thing is absolutely fucking filthy? Do you see what happened here? Look at the silicone section. Do you see? It's just a very, very weak material. It can hold heat very well, but no dice. I don't know what's on the bottom there. Maybe that's some type of serial number. I'm assuming the name of this dripper is the rose. An eagle eye, a bicep, some lightning bolts, some pubic hair, and, and then your top cap is obviously a different color than the rest of the dripper. That's always a good thing. There's those silicone O-rings again. Crazy part is the machining on the top cap is better than the rest of the dripper. Make sure if you buy any kind of device aside from something that has a chip in it, you clean it because you don't know what's on the inside of it. This film that they have going on on the inside, I'm not even going to attempt to use this dripper because I really don't give a shit. Like, I just don't care about this dripper enough to use it. So look inside this bag. Tell me if you see any kind of post screws at all. Nothing, right? And there's nothing inside the box, right? So that's empty. Is There's no screws for the post. So even if you wanted to use this dripper, you can't. There's a literally no screws in this at all. Wow. That is a whole nother level. I think this is the first time I've ever got a dripper where there's no screws at all included. How in the fuck are you supposed to use this if there's no screws to screw it down? Do they expect you to put the wire through and wrap it around and do some tricks and shit? The resin on the mech mod is not bad at all. It looks pretty good, however, then we go over here to the functionality of it. Your fire button sounds like shit. Your contact has got some kind of four-year-old star that you would put on the ceiling that glows in the dark. Then you have their logo here, CE, and then a trash can, which is showing you an X, which I disagree with a lot, because that's where this belongs. And it's saying, stay away from the trash can. I'm saying, put it in the trash can. <sighs> Unscrew this so you can remove the tube. I guess that's brass, not 100% sure. And then there is the resin tube. And then this further comes apart and then as you tell the contact very very basic and obviously the machining on this is absolutely shit as well got some really nice blemishes there I'd really be interested in the price point of any of these devices from the one what makes you think that I'm gonna use your mech mod considering your dripper isn't even complete there's no screws in it there's absolutely nothing this just fucking fails as a kit all right, so here we are back on top of the Splash Mech Mod. You can tell there's nothing on the top of this. There's no batteries inside because I do not feel secure in using this. And I'm going to tell you if you're going to buy this device and this is the first mech or you already own mechs, you're just going to be wasting your money. You're better off going to the local burrito shop, getting yourself a taco or a burrito because at least then for the next couple hours, you're gonna be satisfied. With this, you're gonna be very unsatisfied. And I'm not trying to say that in a funny, sexy manner. It's just that this is all junk. Come, come on. Like, come. And then you give me a dripper, which there's no, I, it's not even about being ungrateful. If it worked, I could be ungrateful. That's like you taking me to a garage sale 
and it, there's signs everywhere, but we get there and then there's nothing on the fucking tables. Don't build me up like that. Don't bring me to the garage sale where there's no one there. No one. It's just, it's just tables. That's all it is. It's tables and signs in an open garage and an old lady mannequin inside sitting on a bench. That's what, like, I, what? As much as sense as that made is as much as sense as this dripper makes. You're even going to go as far as including a drip tip that does not fucking match anything. Do I... Do I look stupid to you? So here's the other mech. Let's open it up and see what's on the inside. You can tell it's sealed, right? Like that's laminated. Does this match? Not a lick. Okay. Here is another one. The resin doesn't look bad from there, right? Wait, wait a minute, look at the deck. So not only is my original missing screws, it's also missing the fucking clamps that go on the top. What the fuck are we? Fucking junk. How would I rate this device on a zero to 10? A zero. I'm gonna let my fisk or hammer decide whether or not this is worthy of buying, which I'm going to tell you it's not. This is all just 100% junk. This is one of those companies that's making things because they want some of the money that's involved in vaping. Sort of what we would call a cash grab. But everything here is junk by this company, literally. I'm not being dramatic. It's literally trash. And it's not even about me giving any of these away. They're so bad that I'd feel bad giving them to somebody, almost like a mockery gift. You know how like Spencer's used to sell the poop bags or the dog poops or the stink bombs? This would fall in that category. The one you should be ashamed of yourself. If the one you're watching, you may want to shut this off at this point because you're about to get really, really an ass load of sand inside of your vagina. This is a piece of shit. Like, on their website, they make this appear that it looks much better than what it does in person. I'm here to tell you, it doesn't even have the logos that they have listed on their website. This looks nothing like, well, it does, sort of, but the quality of this, this shit just irritates me. I don't understand how a company is gonna make a device like this. Put it on their website and make it look like it's super nice. Guys, I know, I get it. From where you're at looking at this, it looks nice. I'm not denying that. It's not till you get up close and personal with it where it really starts to look like shit. And then there's things about this that make no sense. Why is the fire button gold? And then look at the connection on the top, it's raised, so it's limiting you only to a 22 millimeter. However, you can put a 26 on this, you're gonna have a, a nasty gap between the top of the box and the bottom of the dripper, but you could. This is just fucking junk. That's all this is. Junk. I had to check to see if it was a real DNA because I had this feeling that it was not. And it is, in fact, registered from somebody in China, so it is real. I don't know why we would show vapor production, but at this point, I have to have something positive. It's a DNA. I can't give you anything positive with this. On first looks, you may get the impression that it reminds you a little bit of the VT inbox, but I can promise you that the inbox is built way better than this is. Like a hundredfold. If I was to rate the mech squonk on a zero to 10, I'm gonna give it a one. I don't know if it functions, I don't care. I'm not gonna try it. When it comes to mechs, I have to be firm in believing that this is nice. This is solid. Uh, I get that safeness is really gonna be on you, but the way that that connection is, how it's all floppy, I'm not taking that chance, I'm sorry. Mm -mm. 
and the DNA works well, but that's because of the DNA, but the connection on this, the fire button, the buttons to adjust it, the fingerprintness, the battery door. I don't even know how to give this an accurate rating. I recommend if you buy this and it's on the cheap, just take the DNA 75 out of it. You know where we're going with this. So I'm just gonna finish up this video with us going outside. What I was gonna do is I was gonna do these reviews separately than these, but no, that's not the case. We're gonna do all this in one shot. I'm not even gonna bother taking that outside of the box. On that? On those? You see those too? Yeah. <laughs> Probably wear fucking safety glasses for this one. Because of red thing? <laughs> Fucking chip. Okay. <laughs> Make sure there's no people that walk there. You're gonna need a fucking broom. <laughs> 